Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to the Town of Light. This is a psychological adventure horror game set in an abandoned asylum. Asylum is normally a buzzword meaning running down dark corridors with a camcorder out with some ghosty ghoul trying to rip your face off. I've been told the Town of Light is more story driven, so hopefully we can get a different type of horror experience. Now this is all I know about it at this point, so without any more stalling, let's begin! The Town of Light is based on real facts and places, as well as a long documentation concerning mental illness and the life of patients lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing and we advise it's used exclusively by the public of adults. The characters and names and imagery in any reference to people who may have really existed is purely coincidental. The game uses an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved. Goody! If you think you may have psychological problems, please refer to a specialist. Okie dokie, let the game begin. Volterra, 1942. What's happened? What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. Maybe. I can't see any light. I might be dead. You sound really concerned. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? There's no one here, yet these noises... We have no ceiling. God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Okay, have a nap. Reality fades away and my skin has gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. Inspired by real facts and events. I, they already said that in the intro. Wow! Okay, we're in game and... Volterra, Tuscany 2016. We did a bit of a time jump there, but wow, off the bat, this already looks beautiful and stunning. Hey, there's a park! Why does it give us a park to play with straight away? And I can see a building up there. Let's, let's stick to the path because I don't want to get lost, basically. <laughs> I want to stick to the path and stick to the story. Uh, left click to open, close, and use. Anything in here? I hear flies and a radio. Okay, through these lovely gates. Boop. Don't admire me, it's gonna slip on through. Oh, it closed behind me. LKA star it. <laughs> That's the producer. Presents. The Town of Light. Gather round for a tale and a bard of woe and misery like you've never heard since the days of Silent Hill 1. I mean, it's really beautiful so far. I mean, a very elegant beginning. You know, it's a nice piano piece going on, very well done, and the graphics are stunning. We've got lovely birds flying around us. Signs, we can't read. They must mean come on in. There's cookies and muffins and maybe some milk. The bottom ones definitely are milk symbols. Like, wait, milk ahead. Right, let's go get our cookies and milk. This place. Time. Sentence. Use your words. <laughs> Oh, press J to access the synopsis menu. <laughs> a bit of a typo, but anyway, synopsis experience. Um, that's from the little cutscene we saw at the start. Memories. We have no memory. Fantastic. And no documents. How do we get home? <laughs> Who are you? Don't know. Where you live? No wallet. No documents. Sharkot. Sharkot. Little duba there. Meh. Yeah, let's just wander in. Why not? What could possibly, what could possibly go wrong? So, hi, Accention Zone. So obviously, English is not going to be a first language in this place, which I think is kind of cool, actually. Oh, a pair of scissors. Thanks for that. Put that down. Cheers. Uh, inventory of patients' personal effects at moment of admission. Is this useful for anything? Again, not in English. So, this is, I think, an English game. I should probably find out. Well, it was speaking English. Oh, who cares? 
it all just adds to the, the dynamic. It said it's a uh, Spanish, in, uh, Italian in psychiatric institute. Wow. Document admitting, readmitting a patient. Adrino. Martina Gina Adrino. 1895. Okay, well, that's interesting to someone, but not to Spamwells. Spamwells cares not for that admission or readmission slip. Where's the jewels? Where's the guns? Where's the, the gems? The safe? I'm gonna Ocean's Eleven this up. Okay, uh, this... There is no power. The master switch is near the Calm Woman Ward. Calm Woman... What is it? A separate ward for hysterical women and calm women. <laughs> Waiting. Oh, we have a map! Superb! Right, zoom, 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 zoom. So we are evidently the red blob, as you can tell by the menu, saying, Tu si qui. <laughs> you are here. And we have a good old electrical symbol just there, so clearly that's the way to go. Um, admission, we're in the waiting room. Number three hasn't got a label, number four is the stairs, whatever. What? Hey, can I take a screenshot of this? No, that's not. Let's just don't cheat. No cheating. I thought a map might be helpful for later in the game. I appreciate that you can open and touch kind of everything. Wow. That's probably a real photo. Most definitely is a real photo. Non sputa in tela e non bestemina. Uh, maybe, oh wait, there's actually... Does not spit on the ground and does not swear God, okay? <laughs> oh, the civilized person. Well, I appreciate they translate it to a degree. Bottles. And this is what I love about... The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte. My doll. Jinkies, that's swell. Wow, this is creepy. It actually really reminds me, there's um, an abandoned... Oh, there's urban... Exp this is called urban exploring. It's to go to old buildings and have a good old goosey around to take photographs. Don't break, don't vandalize, just documents. And it's amazing. That's locked. And this reminds me, there's a website... Um, I can't remember... No, it's... no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. There's... Yes. I forget the website's name, uh, but I've seen photos of a place just like this. I swear it. Maybe it's the same one. Piano, whatever. I love how um, the, the paint's leaded in this time period, so uh, it's all kind of falling off the wall, uh, but just by its own weight more than anything. Ward 2. Calm woman. It is not forbidden. Let's find Charlotte. It is not forbidden. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Can I push buttons? Oh, we have the green. Green is good. Did we do stuff? Let's find Charlotte. All right, she's calm alone. down. She is in the dark. She's a doll. She doesn't give a fuck. Oh, I've been told off for swearing. Not by Hichi, but by my friends. Oh, F to turn on flashlight. We come equipped for the job. Oh. Ooh. We get a slidey show. Can we sit down? Please? No. We can open windows, but we are a bit too close. We can't sit down. We can't snow shadow. We're clearly a vampire, right? Meh. I'm bored of that slide. Okay, here's a new one. There's people on the roof. Get off the roof, dummies. Hey, there's like a whole reel of them. I guess that's meant to be this place. Oh, it's over so soon. All right, on with the adventure once again. So we've done those doors. Kind of working backwards. Is there like a doll room? <laughs> this room is specifically for dolls to be put in until their parents come to collect them. It'd be helpful if she remembered where she last saw the doll, given it's her only memory. There's a no lean feature in this game. Hello. Have you seen my doll anywhere? She's um called Betty Boo, and she goes boop 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 boop, and she doesn't like strangers. Yes, this is what another thing I really love about urban exploring. I love this sense of just like time stops, it's like humans up and left, and then just nature is slowly reclaiming everything. And it's all like decadent of a far bygone era of different time period. 
looks so cool. Let's search the wards on the first floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows where the various wards are located. Let's do that, Skippy. Da -da -da. She would say that as I've just checked every door in this corridor. Wow, okay. I would not be touching a lift in an abandoned asylum. Uh, for some reason, it still has, still has power going to it. Is there actually something in there? Oh, I'm in the way. I thought it was like a, a baseball bat or something. Hang on, is the stairs out of order? Thing is, rule 101 for uh, horror games is that elevator shafts will always betray you. Always betray you. That may seem all normal and cozy cooey, but you get to where you're nearly going, and it will just like start to turn around and drop you down to the bottom of the shaft and kill you. If you're lucky, it might go up and down and smash you in the face a couple times. Very, very pretty. Let's find Charlotte. She is alone. She is in the <sighs> dark. Is she? How do you know? How do you know she hasn't been collected by somebody else who's gone, Hey, look, here's a doll in this abandoned psychiatric institute. Let's take her home. She clearly wants help. Oh, no, we put lost posters up and somebody might recognize. Oh. Oh, the lights kind of work. <gasps> we found her! You look terrifying. Wow, look at your eyes. I wish I could zoom in. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her. Pretty girl. Gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. Added to the synopsis menu. It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. It's fine. She's in a hospital. We can take care of her. It's not forbidden. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. New chapter two. Every doll needs a name, so I shall name you Annabelle, because that's the creepiest name I've ever heard for a doll. Oh, we actually are going to carry you around like a leper, right? There's Annabelle, wow. That's a great book to have. Always brush your teeth, kids. <laughs> Always that happens on the left. Kind of G-Force guy there. <laughs> oh, that's creepy, like, you come out the... Okay, a bit of creepy sound effects. But it's... It's daytime, so it's not exactly super duper creepy. And that's the slowest draw in, in the world to open. And, okay. Hey, keys. Can we have the keys? Keys will be important for reasons. Apparently, we're not interested in the keys, but the book about the mouth, we're loving that. Okay, carry on. Um. Oh, yeah, and everything is in foreign. I'm not going to specify which language. Just going to refer to it as foreign. Oh. Annabelle, I'm sorry the window hit you in the face. Oh, was that bike always there? I can't remember. Okay, continuing the adventure. Yeah, and there's still power connected to this building. Those lamps might make the room warmer. But Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. I don't think you're very well, my lady. I don't know our name. We need to give ourselves a name. Sam Samantha? Let's go with Samantha and Annabelle the doll. Come, Annabelle. Samantha, she will find you somewhere comfortable. You want to sit down. We need to find you a gurney. So, uh, can we overturn any of these over here? Uh, but, uh, nope, no, no. Oh, that's just to open the door. Light switch. What's this? X-rays. We can give... Okay, I don't want to see people's intestines. Oh, transfer document for patients in foreign. Yay! No, we're not taking the, the, the x-ray. Thanks for that. Whoa, they're cutting off someone's hands. That's not very nice. What? Why would they do that? 
That's great. I like turning that. Wait, does it actually... Hearing things. Oh, we did move things. Things are moving. Evidently, this is like a puzzle for later on in the game to give Annabelle here her first ever X-Way. To find out she's stuffed. <laughs> what do you mean stuffed, Doctor? I mean, quite literally, you're stuffed, my lady. I mean, I'm not going to pull through. It. It's terminal. No, no, quite literally, you are full of stuffing. Oh. There, there, Annabelle. I believe you're real. Hey, there's a, a wheelchair. That'll do you for comfort, right? Right! And, yep. Yeah, boop! This is you. a comfortable place for Charlotte. She's adorable. But it's cold. No, no. It's cold. No! Don't shiver, Charlotte. She's not. The cold will go away. No, it won't. Oh, jeez. The warmth of our love and our heart alone will power her through the day. And... <laughs> okay. You know, if somebody was just passing by and just glanced through the door and see me pushing around this gurney, this chair, with a doll in it, I bet I'm not even dressed. I bet I'm stuck. We need to find warm lights. Let's go into the surgical ward. The surgical ward? Uh, let's go up here. Oh, the lift came down. Was, was that us? Yeah, it was us. Hang in there, Annabelle. Up. It does not work because the door is open. Well, fine. There you go. Right. Up, oh, please. Number one. And make it snappy. Annabelle here is cold. Detail Vola Volturena. If I have any Italian viewers, I apologize for like, destroying your language with my sh shambles attempts of trying to read things. Boop. Annabelle, it's good news. We made it to the top. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, this is like driving a car blindfolded, using bananas. Why did I turn this way? Right. Yes, do the full 360. Is this the way to go? Eh, eh, eh. Turn that corner. Oh, crashing. Here we go, Annabelle, the light. The goes away, you see. The light. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. It's not forbidden. We can do it. The light. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. Okay. Um, H to receive help. Do I need to do that? It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Thank you, Samantha. Annabelle, stay tight. <laughs> so there's no real run or walk feature in this. Oh, wait. Can we could have taken the stairs, but I'm a lazy spammer, so it gives me time to talk to you guys at home. Um, I don't have much to say, sorry. <laughs> we can't run in this game. It seems to be kind of like a walk, or a slightly more hesitant walk. I bet there's like a secret where underneath this is like a passageway going down elsewhere. Um, well, let's try this one. There's reasons. Ward 1. Whoa, bright lights. Wait, let me turn around. Oh, okay, hi. We're going full on horror mode now. Close the doors. Samantha is coming. She's batshit crazy. Oh, the camera's going a bit funny. I just want a doctor and some love. I have a doll and there's a hole in the floor. Are we going down there? I can't turn around. I can't get off. Fine. Whee! Oh, oh. wow, okay. <laughs> Not a problem, we can walk on walls. And again, with the... Right. I have no idea what's going on, but we are clearly out of our mind. Were we just falling into a corner and having a bit of a seizure? Us, Annabelle, is living it up under some spotlights. Get a good tan, looking like Jordan more and more by the second. Oh, Viking KG's messaging me. Go away, KG, I'm recording. The people of YouTube need their video and you... No, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Be gone. Hey. That's kind of a neat idea. It reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. This whole walking on the side kind of shindig. What is it with these games? Always beds, but no mattresses. 
Uh, does someone come One in? One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. That's it cool. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16, and I was afraid. Always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me. Even thinking. <laughs> Oh. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. Burr. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Every last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. For days. Alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Fair enough. Well, not fair. Horribly unfair, but... Yeah, why not? Add it to the Snubsy menu. Oh, cool. Hi, we're having a vision, a memory. Um, color is expensive these days. So, yeah, black and white it is. Can I get out of bed? Hi! She was my only hope in this hell. You're pretty. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy! Okay, I'll behave. Hey! Goodbye, my friend. My only friend. Wow, this is a really bright screen. Give me more light. Yes. Oh, I was enjoying the light. It's chapter three already. Right. Can we pause the game here? Boop. Yes, we can. Right. We can call that an episode right about there. So, what happened in this episode? We we got Annabelle some medical attention. She desperately needed. She's now in recovery. It's fine. We've gone for a walk and we've seemed to have kind of lost our mind a little bit and gone walking over the walls. Great. Um, where are we going with this? I'm not really sure. I guess we're kind of regressing through our past, through our, our memories. Evidently, we were here in 1943. It's now 2016, so we survived this place. But I guess we're trying to I overcome, not overcome, but come to terms with what happened to us. And maybe we're going to go through them and experience them to come out the other side kind of clean of burden of, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what do you think? Put in the comments below or don't. It's up to you. And on that bombshell, thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.